I got your back, Andy. So go on ahead, sign right here. We'll get it all taken care of, okay? Would you like a payment at the beginning, middle, or end of the month? Yeah. Okay. Come on, Andy. Bring the brother. Come on, you buying the car for me or what, baby? All right. Hey, can we right, ask Come on, stop talking to me with Which is your favorite battle. twin? Okay, cool. I'll get you double the production on, if Andy. you answer it. Come, Come on, Andy. Which hey, one's ready? your favorite twin? All right, put which them in. Which one's your favorite twin? Come on. Put them in them. So what's the rules? We just going back out? Yeah, don't worry about it. Huh? Okay. All right, listen. Here's what we're going to do. You ain't going to follow the rules anyway. Everybody. So Ian has a goatee, right? I my rules. I got you the rules my whole life. Ian has a goatee. Evan has a beard. Yeah. Here's what we're going to do. I'm a little taller, a little more handsome. Now I can't hear myself. Good. That's crazy. At every time, listen, we're going to vote like who Mexican does better, music. Ian or Evan. I guess mixing music. Guys, would you agree that there's either flunk or pass, right? There's a winner and there's a loser. That's it. So our goal oh, we're is... we're going out this way, I guess. All right. We're going to move fast. This is getting Watch. fun. Are we going to so spin this around is, in a circle and swing the bat? This is Evan. <laughs> hey, this is Evan right here. This is Ian. Yeah. Yep, Ian's got a, Evan's got a beard, mm. right? He's got a well, beard. I, no, you can't hear him. You can't hear him in here. Evan has a goatee. I don't even know how to spell that. That right? You can't hear him in here. Goatee. You know? That math, it's I know how to spell like goat. Roof room. But I don't it's have like a goatee, so I don't know. Listen, good closer, bad speller. Let's do this. Good, so Ian's going to be here. Listen, it's real easy. I'm going to hit him with an objection. How he handles it, I'm going to grab his brother. He's got to handle the same thing. It's real easy. Who did better? Is that cool? Winner, loser. Let's roll. Cool? And by the way, we'll teach the objection. Is that cool? We'll teach it to you when we're done, so we'll keep learning as we go. Good. Guys, learning should be fun. Does everybody agree? I need some new music. Learning should be fun. Everybody, this stuff. Is good. This I'm going to hit him. Let's pull the objection. Like Jacob, let's go. No, cool. Hey, like watch this. It's going to be simple. No. We're on the pencil. Okay. Hey, we're on the pencil, okay. okay? I'm sitting down with you on the pencil. We got price, trade, payment, everything. And I'm like, hey, can I see the Carfax? You show it to me. Okay. And I'm like, man, Evan, I appreciate it, man. I don't want to buy a car with bad Carfax. I'd say, Andy, number one, just like I told you at the very beginning of this experience, I was going to be your trust advisor. Am I right? Have I treated you like your trust advisor this entire time? Right? Like treated you great, made sure everything that the vehicle qualified for everything that you you wanted on the car, right? Now we come down to the Carfax. Let me let me just talk to you real quick. You can have a camera. You got you got your son, you got your son, little Ian, you got your daughter, Kiki, and you got Sophia, right? Just imagine, just imagine. Real quick, just take a second for me. Just imagine that they're playing outside in the front yard and you got Big Ryan. Where's he at? You got Big Ryan here. He's kind of goofy. He can't catch, right? Ian throws him a ball. It bounces right off the fingertips of his hand. Just right, just literally just right off the fingertips of his hand. Skips right into the side of the Jeep. You do the right thing. You get your car repaired, right, Andy? You get your car repaired, right? Sure. Right? Okay, good. Hey, relax, Andy. It's all good, dude. Look, yeah. listen, I'm your buddy. Look, are we brothers? Yeah. Okay, dude, come on. Here, give me a hug. Okay, okay. listen. Now, listen, Andy. So it bounces right off there. You get the car fixed, right? Just a simple little ding. It's a dent, Andy. You go get it fixed, and you come back to trade it into me in two years. Now, Andy, ask me real quick. Ask me real quick if I would ding you on that little ding. Would Ask me. Would you ding me on it, Evan? Would no, Andy. I wouldn't because it didn't ruin the car. Now, listen, another thing that I would do for you is I would check, I would do a 157-point inspection to make sure that the vehicle never had any other issues that you or I didn't know about, Andy, because I'm your trusted advisor, your expert, the guy that's going to be there for you anytime. Ryan misses a ball. Ian does something. Sophia, Kiki, the whole team. I got your back, Andy. So go on ahead, sign right here. We'll get it all taken care of, okay? Would you like a payment at the beginning, middle, or end of the month? Okay. Come on, Andy. Bring the brother. Come on, you buying the car for me or what, baby? All right, I'm going to buy it. Bring the brother. Guys, you see what we're doing? She's got some good now? music on here. I'm just telling you, it was good. I, can y'all hear me talking in that? Yeah, dude, I was like, shut the uh, f You up. can't talk uh, into the mic. Oh, uh, well, you know, she, Jackie's like trying to trigger me. She's like, don't look, spin in circles, dance, you know? All right, here we go. Is Ian, is Ian ready? Make sure. Let's go, baby. Make sure Always ready. ready. Born ready, baby. Born first and born ready. Ian, same yeah. deal. And by the way, Evan can stay in here now because he can't say anything. It's his brother's turn. Mm -hmm. And then we'll switch vice versa. All right, so Ian, this is going to be me and yeah. you. We're sitting down on the pencil, price, trade, payments, everything. Everything. And I say, hey, Ian, man, I appreciate it. Um, look, we just want to see the Carfax before we make a final decision. You show it to me. Sure. And I'm like, man, it's got a bad Carfax. Ian, I really didn't want to buy a car with a bad Carfax. Well, Andy, here's what I would tell you. And I'm glad that you brought that up. I actually wanted to point that out to you. Look, let me ask you a question. If you were driving through McDonald's, just imagine yourself 
driving through the McDonald's parking lot and you, a car pulled out and you barely tapped their bumper. Now, let me ask you, you're a meticulous guy. I see how you dress, I see how you act. Would you do the wrong thing and probably take it to the stucco guy and pay it for a little bit cheap, like stucco paint? Or would you take it to like Caliber Collision that's certified that would report this to a Carfax? Let me ask you, which one would you do? I'd get a fixed right. Yeah, you'd probably get a fixed right, right? So the fact is that this customer that had this car before, they're just like you. They got it fixed right, so it has to report to the Carfax, but it's no big deal. When we see somebody have this on their Carfax, what we do is we do a critical area check. We make sure that the car is perfect in all those areas. So the fact is you don't have to worry it's very simple and uh, let me ask you how did you want to do the down payment did you want to do that on a credit card check cash what did you want to do okay good job guys <laughs> all right dude mine was way better come all on right. team evan come on team evan what do now, we got the reason the reason why we like to do twin battles is because sometimes our goal is to have you not pick a favorite just pick the truth. There could be some really close ones, okay? Who won that? Evan, who went first? Evan, baby. You can only pick one. I'm gonna ask you if you're gonna vote for Well, Evan. my name's first, so you guys should go with my if name first. If you're gonna vote for Evan, raise your do. hand. If we should do my name first. For Ian, raise your hand. Hold on. So, do you guys make a decision real quick? You guys made your decision? Choose okay. one, guys. Who's gonna vote for Evan? Card numbers. Count the hand. That's the majority. Hold on, count them. How are we count gonna count the count hands? Quick, count we just quick. need to roar. Hold on, roar no, one no, side, roar the other. Louder. Hold on. I think that's about 32%. I, Hold I've on. been very accurate with my eyes. I got these glasses, and they're uh, they're like crowd counting glasses. That's exactly what they are. So yeah, that's 32% strong. So full of 32%. Okay, hold on. For Ian, raise your hand. Woo! Oh, that's it, baby. Woo! Come on, baby. Come on. One in the bag. Huh? Let's go. Hold on for Come Ian. on, I got Ian, more. raise your hand. You got to raise your hand. Come guys. on. You got to raise your hand. Let's Evan's see. wife almost raised her hand. I watched it almost go up. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, there we go. Oh, listen. Go. Hey, hold on. Listen to me. Yep. Can I ask you a question? Here's the goal is this. Did they both do a good job? Yeah. Can you understand why they sold so many cars? Yeah. Okay, go to the word track real quick. Okay, everybody look at this. This right here says this. This is the word track we teach, which you guys will see in your training. It says, I totally understand. Did you know that most cars on the road that have a clean Carfax have actually had damage, but that have been fixed by a shop that doesn't report to Carfax? Carfax is just a tool. Let me ask you this. If you want to make McDonald's parking lot and the vehicle that you currently own, I'm not asking about my car. I said the vehicle you currently own, right? It was bumped into going three miles an hour in that McDonald's parking lot. Look, you fixed the bumper, right? They're going to say yes. And then once they say yes, you'd say great. Well, they'd have to report that to Carfax. And you'd agree it's a perfectly perfect vehicle, right? Right. You just had to replace the bumper. So just like that, that bumper had to be replaced. You take care of your cars. The same thing has happened here. It's not a big deal. It's a perfectly great vehicle. We have completely certified it and checked it out. You're not gonna have any problems. Let's do business. Do you guys understand that? Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of people, you say bad car facts, salesmen start. Oh, oh my God. Evan did that, I came in a lot of the time. No, okay. Never. All right, let's go next.